But it behaves a bit like a double agent. It can exist in a plus three oxidation state, like its lighter cousins, aluminum or gallium, but it prefers a plus one state, more like the alkali metals. Think like sodium and potassium. Now this matters because the thallium plus one ion is a master impersonator of potassium, a vital element in our bodies. Our cells, machinery, especially our nerves and muscles, rely on potassium ions. Thallium sneaks in, masquerading as potassium, and that's where the trouble begins. Biologically, thallium is extremely toxic, a true wolf in sheep's clothing at a cellular level. It interferes with numerous processes, essentially throwing in a wrench at the body's biochemistry. So what happens if thallium gets into a person? Well, the effects are horrific. One notorious symptom is hair falling out in clumps. Survivors of thallium poisoning often describe waking up, uh, finding their hair on their pillow. In fact, a sudden hair loss is a classic clue for doctors to suspect thallium. Thallium also ravages through the nervous system, causing numbness, tingling, and pain in the hands and feet as nerves degenerate. Victims might start with flu-like complaints, fatigue, headaches, stomach pains, which then progress to tremors, convulsions, and even paralysis. Now, because these symptoms can mimic other illnesses, thallium was historically hard to diagnose. It earned a dark reputation as the perfect poison, easy to slip into food or drink, being colorless and tasteless, and hard to detect until too late. Even a tiny dose, this metal packs a punch. A total of just one or two grams of ingested thallium can be fatal to an adult. Now, unlike quick-acting cyanide, thallium works slowly and insidiously, giving a poisoner plenty of time to cover the track. 